Okay, next question. We had an acute problem over there at Holly Avenue in Delcy Drive, uh, near where the old uh, Italian bistro was. Accidents were happening like every, every other day or whatever. But since that light's been put up, we don't see the red flashing lights, we don't see the accidents, and so it's, it's a plus. And I think if you could uh, uh, do more of that in other places that, uh, that are, you know, bad spots, uh, would help with the traffic problems and the accidents. Okay, I, I think we should have a traffic light with, with an arrow on Frysmill Road on, uh, at the corner of Riggins Gas Station. Uh, because that's a very dangerous intersection. I know there have been a few accidents there, and I really think uh, Arrow, the lead green, would on the other side will help people to make left-hand turns there without problem. You know, I have to agree with both Angelo and John. They have just cause for their concerns. That's why when I began my term, I said that we would work with the county to address all the major intersections in town. And I'm happy to report that by the end of this year, we will have accomplished this goal. Let's take a look back at what we've done. On my very first day in office, I joined with then Senator John Corzine and county officials to break ground on the Egg Harbor Gantown Road intersection. All four lanes were widened and left-hand turn lanes and signals were installed. Small cameras monitor the top the lights, monitor traffic flow and program the lights to change. This helps regulate traffic and keeps motorists moving smoothly and efficiently through the intersection. Next, with the county's help, we tackled the intersection of Fish Pond and Pittman Downer Roads. It has been a problem spot for years. New dedicated left turn lanes and signal upgrades have improved traffic flow on that side of town as well. Then the county helped us address an area of concern in front of our high school. The intersection at Herfield Cross Keys and Gantown Roads experiences high traffic volume during school arrival and dismissal times. Motorists, school buses, and pedestrians all must navigate those busy streets. That intersection received lane widening, dedicated left turn lanes, and signal upgrades. It's now a much safer trip to and from our high school. But the county did not stop there. After completing the road widening project along Herfield Cross Keys from Green Tree to Gantown Roads, they graciously added another traffic signal in front of the school. The new signal is located at Herfield Cross Keys Road and Minuteman Drive, which is the entrance to the high school right across the street from the Twin Ponds development. Earlier this month, the light began blinking to prepare motorists for its impending activation. A brief dedication ceremony was recently held to activate the light. In attendance were county freeholders, town council members, members of our police force and I, as well as representatives from the school district. The new traffic light will help move traffic more efficiently, and the Minuteman Drive crosswalk will be much safer now, too. Pedestrians can activate the pedestrian crossing indicator by pushing the button. A hand signal will count down traffic on all four sides. Finally, with regard to John's concerns about Herfield Cross Keys and Fries Mill Roads, the county is currently preparing for a full intersection upgrade there as well. Improvements will be similar to those at the intersections I just mentioned, including widening of roads, dedicated turn lanes, and upgrading of signals. Pre-construction has already begun as utility poles are being moved. Construction will begin in the summer and continue through the end of the year. So there you have it, folks. These intersections and these improvements should significantly reduce the traffic crashes that Angelo and John are so concerned about, as well as reduce traffic delays and increase safety for motorists and pedestrians alike.